Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to try to teach you how to resize your partitions using Gparted and to shift free space from one of your hard drive partitions to another one on the same disk. Uh, so first and foremost, before you do this kind of thing, you should back up everything. Make sure that any files you are concerned about potentially losing to uh, basically corrupted data that you take care of that ahead of time because playing around with hard drive partitions is inherently kind of dangerous um, especially if something goes wrong during the setup so you've been warned um, all right so let's say for instance like I do you have multiple operating operating systems installed on your computer like you have Windows 10 and then you also have Ubuntu Linux, so you dual booting it. Um, and you add too much space on your Windows partition. Like over here, 200 gigabytes used and then 400 gigabytes unused. And you wanted to move more of that to Linux. Well, in order to resize a uh, one of your partitions, of course, you boot into Gparted by typing in Gparted in the uh, terminal or pseudo Gparted. And then you would go to resize move on the partition which has the operating system that you're concerned about resizing. And it's pretty simple in theory. You would just basically uh, take these bounds on the right and left and resize it. And by doing that, it shrinks the free, uh, the free space. You can do it up to the amount of space that's actually taken up. And then that will give you uh, something like a unallocated space on your partition so um, I mean I'm not actually doing this going to do this live uh, I unfortunately lost the images from when I did this the other night but um, the idea here is that you would once you have the unallocated space you have to move it into well SDA 3 or whatever your extended partition is which contains uh, these other partitions including ext4 the ubuntu partition and the linux swap and then once the unallocated space is on the extended partition you have to move it to ext4 and you do this by resizing so we would resize sda3 and then we would resize uh, the sda5 partition where ubuntu is actually installed now we can't actually do this uh, while we're booted uh, while we're booted into our real Ubuntu instance and the reason for that is uh, well because they're mounted so you, you can't resize a mounted partition that would be crazy but the idea would be you create the unallocated space by right clicking here resize move you come down to here you resize move this and then you instead of shrinking these spaces you would have the ability to increase it um, in order to take up all the free space which uh, would make this basically zero or roughly zero and then the unallocated space exists here you right click here you do a resize move and then you increase it until all of your free space is taken up and that's the basic idea there it's not really too complicated but what I will say is that it can take a really long time for the process to complete. So the other night I resized 100 gigabytes from my Windows partition and I moved it into ext4. All the steps except for the actual move took about five minutes. But the automated move process, which is what will occur uh, once you do the resize move on this partition, takes upwards of an hour or even longer depending on how fast your computer is. So once again back up everything before you attempt this kind of thing go find the partition that you want to take data away from resize it go to the partition you want to increase the size of or well first you'd have to do the extended because it's categorized so move it to the category and then move it to the actual ubuntu partition and that's really it you just have to give it time beyond that um, and once again also remember you should probably do it from a live Ubuntu or another live uh, Linux CD because you need those uh, partitions to be unmounted. Okay, one, one last tip, one last tip. If you do boot into those live CDs, it may actually make Linux swap still mounted. It's ma If it has this little key here, that's how you know it's mounted. If you right click on Linux swap, there'll be a swap off. In this case, I'm going to actually try to turn swap on. Ooh, that looks like something I'll need to fix later. But um, yeah, anyway, you can right click Linux swap and turn that off. 
So that should just about be what you need to get going in resizing your partitions and increasing the size of your Linux or another partition using Gparted. I've been Chris, I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if it was, consider donating down below, but I'll see you in my future videos.